Good evening, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Late last night, there was a magnitude 3.7, six kilometers southeast of Oildale, California. It was originally a 3.6, but was quickly upgraded to a 3.7 after more than 1,000 people reported feeling this earthquake. It was felt as far as Los Angeles, San Bernardino National Forest, um, Fresno, and a lot of the reports, here we got 35 here, uh, 349 uh, to the west, uh, 233 in Bakersfield. Uh, people there in Bakersfield are quite concerned about the earthquake and um, the earthen dam Lake Isabel. Many of these earthquakes in this area are caused by fluid withdrawal, well, the fracking. Um, they have what's called heavy oil there, so they got to inject uh, some type of high-pressure fluid to bring it up. And this paper by Caltech indicates, yeah, that the Kern Front Faults, and there's uh, quite a few of them, let me show you, has triggered earthquakes on these fault lines. You can see um, a line of them here and two more lines of them up over here. Let me try and make this bigger. This paper is from uh, 2009. So there is a lot of development that has gone on since uh, this uh, paper was published. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake, the magnitude 3.7. Here we got one current uh, front fault, the other one and the other one that comes down through here. In these areas, these are large areas uh, yeah, of um, oil production. All those little dots are the wells. Yeah, there's one there. And um, where's the other one? I marked it. Or so I thought I did. Oh, down here. All right. Yeah, this area is just riddled with um, oil production. And it's a great economic source for many people. There are two other fault lines that run um, through this area. We have the Kern River, Kern River Canyon Fault that runs right underneath um, the dam. That It's an earthen dam that's being um, upgraded because of the danger that it poses. The Isabel Dam consists of two dams, a main dam and an auxiliary dam. That's the one they've been working on. Um, they've dropped the water level in the dam to about 60% of what its capacity uh, could hold because of safety measures. More than 300,000 people uh, live and work below the dam. And in 2006, safety um, problems were found. That's when they discovered it was situated on a fault line, a fault line they thought to be inactive. But in 2007, the U.S. Corps of Engineers found evidence of at least one earthquake in the last 5,000 years. A fault line is considered no longer active if there's no earthquakes on, on them uh, for at least 10,000 years, but they showed evidence of earthquakes in the last 5,000 years. Work is continuing, and evidently the work won't be done until 2022. Back in June or July of 2019, there was a magnitude 7.1 earthquake. I'm not quite sure where that earthquake occurred, but it was felt as far as Las Vegas, and people in the area were concerned, um, a little nervous about the safety of the dam. In September of 2017, the Corps of Engineers awarded a $204 million contract to Flatiron uh, Dragonus Scoot Joint Ventures uh, to work on the um, upgrade for the dam. Yeah, they probably feared the same thing that happened there in Michigan and Oroville would happen here, such as overtopping, uh, seepage, etc. Construction began in 2018 and is not expected to be completed until 2022. What was interesting about this earthquake, according to USGS, they had movement of straight up. Now you can see that most of the uh, uh, pressure, the tension, 
um, by the reports went west. But you can see here how the fault line actually moved up and slightly east. Now the Kern River Canyon Fault, which runs underneath the dam, underneath the lake, it runs into another fault line, which is called the White Wolf Fault Line, where they had a magnitude 7.7 .7 in 1952. And from there, we got the Garlock Fault Line. Now many of you that have followed me will remember that the earthquakes there in Ridgecrest um, seems to have reactivated the Garlock Fault Line. And it's been showing more activity since, uh, yeah, the Ridgecrest earthquakes. A lot more people live in this area since 1952. And I am sure a lot of people did not report feeling this earthquake that occurred last night. But if you did, put your thoughts down below. Um, yeah, here you can see here Kern County earthquakes. Um, and this is on Caltech, how it talks about how the largest earthquake in Southern California since the Port Tijon earthquake in 1857 was the Owens Valley earthquake of 1872. The Kern County earthquake of 1952 caused immense and widespread damage. And they know for a fact that these earthquakes are being caused by fluid withdrawal. So did you feel this earthquake? How long did it last? A lot of people said it was just a bang. Uh, but if there was rolling motion or anything like that, uh, what direction did it seem to come from, etc.? Please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.